Happy birthday, iPhone. You personally have changed my life and millions of others. Can you guys believe it has been 10 years already since the announcement of the original iPhone? In fact, today marks the 10th anniversary. That means 10 iPhones have been released since the original. It took a long time to get here, but here we are. I just wanted to appreciate the moment and take a look back. This is how you turn it on. This is your music. This is your email. This is the web. And this is a call on your iPhone. This is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. Today, we're introducing three revolutionary products of this class. The first one is a widescreen iPod with touch controls. The second is a revolutionary mobile phone. And the third is a breakthrough internet communications device. So, three things. A widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and a breakthrough internet communications device. And indeed, it was revolutionary. Before the phones we knew today even existed, we had the iPhone first generation. It paved the way for everything. So it wasn't the greatest phone at the time, but it did have its merits. That multi-touch display, a huge 3.5 inch multicolor display, which was incredible, an interface unlike any other on a smartphone at the time. It was very clean, very intuitive. What made it work so well was the iPod, of course. A lot of people had to carry around a separate device along with a cell phone, so why not just throw them together? Having an internet browser that worked with multiple fingers swiping and throw a camera into the mix. It's no wonder everyone has one of these in their pocket nowadays. An iPod, a phone, <laughs> and an internet communicator. An iPod, <laughs> a phone. <laughs> are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. And here it is. <laughs> no. Actually, here it is, but we're going to leave it there for now. So. Say you're out shopping for a car, and the salesman says, this is the best deal in town, guaranteed. Sounds good. But let's say you want a second opinion. That's when having the entire internet on your phone sounds even better. Why do we need a revolutionary user interface? I mean. Here's four smartphones, right? Motorola Q, the Blackberry, Palm Treo, Nokia E62, the usual suspects. And what's wrong with their user interfaces? Well, the problem with them is really sort of in the bottom 40 there. It's, it's this stuff right here. They all have these keyboards that are there whether you need them or not to be there. And they all have these control buttons that are fixed in plastic and are the same for every application. Well, every application wants a slightly different user interface, a slightly optimized set of buttons just for it. And what happens if you think of a great idea six months from now? You can't run around and add a button to these things. They're already shipped. 
So what do you do? It doesn't work because the buttons and the controls can't change. They can't change for each application, and they can't change down the road if you think of another great idea you want to add to this product. Well, how do you solve this? Hmm. It turns out we have solved it. We solved it in computers 20 years ago. We solved it with a bitmap screen that could display anything we want, put any user interface up, and a pointing device. We solved it with the mouse, right? We solved this problem. So how are we going to take this to a mobile device? Well, what we're going to do is get rid of all these buttons and just make a giant screen. A giant screen. Now, how are we going to communicate this? We don't want to carry around a mouse, right? So what are we going to do? Oh, a stylus, right? We're going to use a stylus. No. No. Who wants a stylus? You have to get them and put them away, and you lose them. Yuck. Nobody wants a stylus. So let's not use a stylus. We're going to use the best pointing device in the world. We're going to use a pointing device that we're all born with. We're born with 10 of them. We're going to use our fingers. We're going to touch this with our fingers. And we have invented a new technology called multi-touch, which is phenomenal. It works like magic. You don't need a stylus. It's far more accurate than any touch display that's ever been shipped. It ignores unintended touches. It's super smart. You can do multi-finger gestures on it. And boy, have we patented it. So, so we're going to show you the software breakthrough, software that's at least five years ahead of what's on any other phone. Now, how do we do this? Well, we start with a strong foundation. iPhone runs OS X. Yeah. Now, why, why would we want to run such a sophisticated operating system on a mobile device? Well, because it's got everything we need. It's got multitasking. It's got the best networking. It already knows how to power manage. We've been doing this on mobile computers for years. It's got awesome security. Just go to emergency call, hold the power button, and while you're doing that, just call 911 or 112. There you are. So you're in the context. So what can you do from here? You can make calls. You can actually go into the messages app. You can go into maps. You can go into Safari. You can literally do anything. So next came the iPhone 3G, one of the most popular iPhone redesigns ever. And personally, this is one of my favorite commercials that Apple has ever made. It's finally here. The first phone to beat the iPhone. It surfs the web and downloads data twice as fast for half the price. Introducing a new iPhone. 3G. And next, the Compass multitasking, video recording, and even more speed on the iPhone 3GS. I think it's the same. Introducing the next iPhone. It's the iPhone you love. Now with video. Just one of the amazing new features on the iPhone 3GS. The fastest, most powerful iPhone yet. This is the highest resolution phone screen ever. So every freckle, every wrinkle, every letter, every word, every tweet, tune, battle, and memory looks more beautiful than ever before. The amazing Retina display, only on the iPhone 4. We have a flat tire. How do I tie a bow tie again? What's the fastest way to Hartford Hospital? Do I need an umbrella in New York this weekend? Remind me to call Chris when I get home. Move my meeting from three to four. What does a weasel look like? Remind me to get milk when I leave work. Tell my wife I'm gonna make it. Wake me up at six. Play some cold train. I'm locked out. I found three locksmiths fairly close to you. Say hello to the most amazing iPhone yet. And then the iPhone 5 with the design we still use today in the iPhone SE. It came with a larger display, 4 inches versus 3.5, 
And this is the first phone post Steve Jobs. So there was a lot to live up to, but I think it was fantastic. It was a great phone, very comfortable, very fast, and the camera improvements were huge. And then the iPhone 5S, the stopgap between old and new. This was the first iPhone to ship with iOS 7. It was a great phone, kept the old design, but now much, much faster. This is the iPhone 6, and this is the iPhone 6 Plus. The biggest releases ever. The iPhone that changed everything just because Apple was now competing with so many other smartphones with a larger display. This is finally catering to an audience that wanted something bigger from Apple and was tired of the smaller 4-inch displays. And then of course the iPhone 6s with the rose gold color, 3D touch, which was the most iconic feature about it, and huge improvements in speed. It outdid many of the Android counterparts. And now we've arrived at the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, the 10th iPhone in succession after the original iPhone. It is so incredibly fast, the camera is fantastic, and I love the water resistance. But where do we go from here? So later this year we're going to be seeing the 10th anniversary iPhone, this is going to be the 11th iPhone in succession, and it will redefine the iPhone completely. This will be the biggest change to iPhone ever, with an all-glass design, an organic LED display, and no home button whatsoever. So I cannot wait to see what the future will bring, but there is no arguing the past 10 years has been great with Apple. The advancements have been slow but steady, have been fantastic. The design of iPhone altogether, I am so, so happy with. So I cannot wait to see later this year what the iPhone will come up with, but I gotta say, these 10 years have been fantastic. So happy 10th birthday iPhone. I cannot wait for another 10, but I'll be seeing you later this year at your 11th birthday.